Guys, we're back with part two of the How to Make a Jackpot series. You guys really wanted to see the second part, so here it is. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to right here to your droplets. Here's our other roulette site that we're working on. But here's the one we're working on for today. So we're going to copy the IP and we're going to go to FileZilla and log in on there. If you don't have this, if you don't have FileZilla and Putty already, I'll leave the, the links for those in the comments or the description. So what you do is you paste that link in for the host. And for the username, everyone's username will be root. And then the password will be whatever you set it to. And I can't remember what I set it to. I think that's it. And your port will be 22. So you'll hit quick connect on that. Uh, if it asks this, just say always trust this host. You're fine. So it should connect up to that. Hopefully, and it did. What we're also going to do is we're also going to paste that link up in here. And that'll show what we ended with last time. So we'll do this. And we're gonna go root. Actually, we'll go here. And we'll go var www. And we're gonna delete this HTML file. And we'll say yes. And once that's deleted, we'll I'll leave the comment. I'll leave the link to this in the description too. The files for the jackpot site. So we'll open that. And it'll come up on the screen. So you'll go to jackpot site, Cisco jackpot, and you'll take these HTML files and you'll drag them right in here. So while that's uploading, we're going to go back to this, and in a new tab, we'll put the same IP in there, but we'll do, on the end of this one, php my admin. Did we? We might not have installed php my admin. One second. So the files are done uploading. The problem we had before with php my admin is just because I was rushing it. We weren't really, really ready for that step. We'll do that probably next episode. I'll show you guys how to do all that. It's just uploading the database to PHP my admin. So if you already know how to do that, you can do that this episode or at the end of this episode. But if you don't, then just wait till the next. We'll talk about that. So once this is done, we're gonna edit some files. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go open our new HTML files. Actually, you know what we'll do first? If you go to our, your site and you have to refresh it, it'll come up with this. This is all your site ready to go. Once we have the PHP files. Uh, we, once we have database files, all this will fix, games, players today, all that. Uh, all of this stuff will fix, and we can also show you how to do the two jackpots instead of just one. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your HTML file, and you have a huge list of files here. Um, if you don't have Notepad++, you're going to probably need that. So I would install that. I'll leave that link in the description as well. I just transfer that file, but it'll be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the Steam auth file. We're going to open that, and we're going to open the settings in Notepad++. So I'm connecting. Okay, so once this is open, first thing you're going to change is, this is going to be your bot information, by the way. So the API key, how you get this, let me pull my bot right here. So here's my bot. This is a bot I just made, it's the second one for my website. So what you do is you take the end of this URL and put at the end dev backslash API key. But you have to have five dollars in the bots account or bought a game on there to get this. So I can show you how to do this on my main account. So we'll go to Steam and we'll do dev slash API key. So this will work for now. You just do the domain name, so what you do is you'll copy this, because you don't actually have a domain yet. Unless you do, then if you have a domain, then put it in here. You do a register, then you'll copy this. That should be your API key for the website. And we'll paste that in here. Mine's a little bit messed up because I do have something or a font changed, so it's not going to actually look like this for you. That's why I was using the Linux host, because it's a little bit easier for you to tell. Uh, so domain. For this, you'll just usually put, uh, that's not what I meant to do, you'll just put this again, unless you have a domain, so like, actually, now what we're going to do this, until you have a domain, use the IP, but we're going to take off the HTTP part this time, and we want a small logo, and you're going to do the same thing with, actually we'll copy this one, so we don't have to change the front part again. So we'll change this. Uh, Steamoth, you'll you don't need to mess with that. 
So you'll save that. Go back to your FileZilla, hit yes. Um, now we're gonna go back to the HTML. And we're gonna find a file called core. So, I'm probably missing it. But, okay, so here it is. We're gonna open that up as well. And so the things we're gonna do here is, this is gonna be the title of the website. So we're gonna call this jackpot win big csgo.com because it's going to be an addition to the site we already have so there's that um, so for this one you're going to have to find your bot's steam id and trade urls so we're going to open our bot back up and we're going to go here we'll do the trade url first so everyone if you gamble you know how to do this you go to inventory trade offers who can send me trade offers and once it loads up, because you have Internet Explorer, uh, you're gonna copy the code. Not what I meant to do. Cancel that. Copy. And you're gonna paste this into bot one URL. You, on this site, you're able to put more than one bot, but for this case, we're only gonna use one, which will be jackpot one. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna go back into this. Paste that link in there. Steamid.io. And we, for this, we will go click on our profile. And we're gonna copy our profile link and we will paste that right here hit look up so from here you'll get your steam id 64 and you'll copy that and paste that right here again it's hard to tell i'm going to remove that for next video if i do it on this computer or the virtual machine once you do that you're going to hit something yeah that's all you need here so you're going to save I'm going to delete these two, so I do that. And I should have saved. Let me check. I'm not sure if I just deleted it. And... Let's see if it did. It did not. Okay, so I'm just going to do this real quick, guys. It's not going to take me very long. Right, I just copied that. Actually, I'll be back when I'm done with this. Okay guys, I'm back. I just saved the file. I'm gonna exit that out and it should come up here and ask you if you want to transfer that and you're gonna say yes. So once you do that, you're gonna find the links file, which will be right here. And we're gonna edit that. So the first thing you're gonna do in this is you're gonna do your MySQL login, which this should all be fine. You're gonna make this root. And you're gonna type your password in here for MySQL. I'm not gonna do that, I'll do that off camera. I'll cut it so you guys can't see my password. Uh, what you're also going to do is database name. And you're going to make this just DB, both lowercase. So then you will save this and hit yes. And I'm going to add my password and I'll be right back. Okay, so I saved my password. I came up and I hit yes. So now onto the next thing. We're going to find end round. So that should be right here. We'll edit that. So for this, we're gonna do admin ID, which is gonna be our admin account. So let me go to my main here. And the first thing we'll have to do, I can't remember. So admin ID, you're also gonna, you're just gonna use that same program we used before, which I think we can actually just go my profile for that. And you can copy this link, which is the same as your ID 64. Paste that in there and we just need my trade link. So that will be here, here, here. If you guys want to send me anything for free, you know, you have my trade link now. And we go back to this. And this is gonna be a secret. You have to get this on the bot when you do your Steam desktop authenticator. You'll download this program, which will be in the description, and you'll add your bots to it, and it'll give you the constant code for it. But for this, we'll just do like uh, we'll just do test, I guess. And we'll actually, we'll do let's do like bot test. We'll save that, and we will hit. It should come up. Yes. So the last thing we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna set up all the chat. So we're in the chat file down here. Oh, wait, I'm sorry if this video is a lot faster. I'm kind of it's kind of late, and. 
I need to go to sleep, but I kind of had to do the video. Now we're over here, the chat.txt. We're going to say file permissions. We're going to change this number to 777. Once you do that, you'll hit OK. You'll do stuff up here, you're good to go. You'll hit Edit and View File. I'll come up with all of this right here, and you're just going to take all this and hit Delete. From there, you'll say File, Save. I'll ask you again if you want to save it on Mozilla, you say yes, and you're good to go. So now that that's all done, you go over here and refresh your site, and not much will happen, but you'll really see a lot of changes in the next episode. But your site's basically kind of get coming along here. So there's a few glitches we're going to fix like that kind of thing, but we can do that next episode. So I'll see you guys next time.